In this lecture, we are beginning our project of building a simple tally DAP with Truffle Solidity and Vanilla JavaScript. Our first step is going to be to build a Truffle project. So join me in your terminal or command line application. Here we're going to create a new folder called Hello Tally. Then we're going to enter the folder. In this folder, we're going to call truffle init to initialize a new truffle project. Here the init is successful and we have some prompts here to scaffold a contract or scaffold a test. Let's open up our project with a code editor. When you create a new truffle project, you get three folders, a contracts folder, a migrations folder, and a test folder. Inside of contracts, you have a sample solidity contract called migrations. Inside of the migrations folder, you have a sample script called initial migration.js. You also have a test folder with nothing inside except a git keep. And you have a truffle configuration file, which is where you can configure your truffle project. This is similar to configuring a node project. We're using Solidity version 0.8.10 in this project. You can use a different version of Solidity, but just note that there might be a breaking change that you might have to change the code that you write if you're using a different version of Solidity. Our next step is going to be to write a Solidity smart contract. So let's get started. We're going to create a new file inside of our contracts folder and let's call this contract tally.solidity. So this is the file name and it's typically best practice to have the file name be the same as your contract name. So if we have a contract called tally, we want the file name to be the same. At the top, we should also include our license because this is the standard for smart contracts and you will be prompted to include a license if you don't. So let's set the license of this file to MIT. And just make sure that you spell identifier correct there. This is the SPDX license identifier. Then we'll specify the Solidity version. Pragma Solidity. We're going to use any versions including or higher than 0.8 point 10. Okay, so that will allow us to use that version or higher of Solidity in this contract. Now in this contract, let's create an event called count. This is going to emit to increase or decrease the value of our current tally. In here, I'm going to pass in a method, a count and an address. And I'm going to create a public integer called count. We are going to keep track of this count and we'll be able to increase or decrease the count. Anyone who visits the website will be able to increase or decrease the count, but they will have to do that via a transaction. So we'll need to grab their address. We are going to have one function called increase which will be public to increase the value of count. So you can just increase it with the plus plus operator. Then we'll also emit a count event, which is going to say increase count and message dot sender. So we'll have some data being emitted. We'll also have a similar function called decrease, but this one is going to decrease the value of count. So we just have to take count and subtract it. Then we're going to emit another count event that says decrease with message dot sender. Awesome. One more thing that we need is a function to get the count. So I'm going to build a function called get count, which will be a public view and returns a uint. So that way we can access the count via a function should we want to make the count private. And that is all we need for our Solidity smart contract. Next up, we have to compile our contract and deploy it and as well migrate it. So to compile this contract, we're going to go into our terminal or command line. 
make sure you are inside of your project folder and then call the command truffle compile. This is going to compile all of your contracts which we have migrations.solidity and tally.solidity. The artifacts will be written to your project folder slash build slash contracts. Then you'll see the Solidity compiler that was used. So now you'll have a new folder in your project called build and then a subfolder called contracts. There you have JSON files for each of your contracts. So we have one for migrations and one for tally. This is just converting your Solidity contract to a JSON format. So that way you can now use your contract in a front end like in a website because you have it in the JSON format. Here you can also get the contract ABI, which is just one of the keys in this JSON data. Coming up next, we're going to deploy and migrate our contracts. So join me in the next lecture. Do you want the source code? Well, go to the description box. It is right there. Also, click the link in the description box to join the Mammoth Unlimited membership to get 2,000 hours of content. And like, subscribe, and comment below.